Hello and welcome to another episode of Scortified Engineering. I'm Sprutis and if you're new to the channel then please consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with all my different projects. In today's episode we are starting with an unboxing of a cool thing. Basically something that will uh, take care of the uh, uncertainty in the last episode. So. Um, Let's just move on to that. So here is the package from GDS Bitviken. So basically do it yourself shop. Let's see what we have in here. It's quite heavy. Okay, so the first thing you see is this plastic bucket and in that we find this fluid which is the, yeah, so this is uh, yellow passivization, so chroming basically. And then another box and then the, uh, the sinking uh, fluid I have a manual in here so we got a pipe we have some copper wire for hanging the parts we have this sink uh, that will uh, provide the material for the coating and a threaded rod to hang the things from and then a Velleman uh, power supply so 0 to 15 volts 0 to 3 amps we will be doing electrical uh, sinking is that what you call it in English um, so I will sandblast the screws, the ones you saw in the previous episode, uh, clean them off with uh, thinner and then I will put them in this sinking bath and then after that I will be doing the yellow passivization. So one protection against rust and a second one. So two steps towards uh, rust free and uh, nice hardware basically so that's why is why I have two boxes one for each fluid I was thinking about having a, a third one for cleaning but yeah we will see how I do that mm -hmm. so let's clean some screws We are taking care of the nasty, old, rusty, dirty screws, nuts, etc. We are making them look like this. Not, not the sandblasted part, but the chrome yellow-ish looking piece or part of it. So we are uh, doing a DUI sinking. Uh, sink uh, yeah we put stuff in a bath we take them out we put them in another bath and then we will have things that look looks like this and the first things that we're going to test out this on are the screws for the power steering pump so that i can assemble that correctly this one needs an an fitting before i can finish this so this one will be postponed but let's get started on the other stuff so here you see the screws uh, this special fitting I sandblasted the edge on this one so this one is out of the mix but we have all these so they look okay but 
not really of the same standard. So what I will do is I will take a piece of cardboard, I will punch some holes and then push these through and then I will sandblast them. After that I will clean them off in uh, paint thinner and uh, then it's time for the sink bath and uh, let's see they uh, I did uh, borrow Tim's ultrasonic cleaner so that made parts a lot nicer so I think I'm gonna start a bath of that first um, yeah, and then uh, just continue with sandblasting and cleaning these. Here are the screws sandblasted, and uh, I did skip two of the nuts as they were normal nylon lock nuts. So instead of treating them, I will just replace them. And this will now be the last time I am touching these with my skin. They go into the uh, tiny bath with uh, paint thinner. So they will uh, stay there for a while. This one is a bit problematic, but yeah, uh, they will stay there until I have taken out all the uh, supplies that I need to do the sinking. So here we have the power supply, um, which I will turn to basically one milliamp per square centimeter of surface to treat. We have the first bucket with the sink ball in the bottom. We have this threaded rod that will uh, that we will hang our screws from, and then the fluid for that. And directly after that, they will move into this tub where the yellow uh, passivization is. So. Uh, I will now take out the screws and hang them in the copper wire and make sure that they don't sit at the bottom but and at the same time that they all fit. These buckets uh, have space for 6 liters each and the fluid is 5 liter each so everything will be uh, poured in. So here we have all the screws hanging and hopefully this will be enough uh, so that I can so that it will be fully submerged. Otherwise if I need to lower it then I might need to have some extra to pull up here in the middle so that it does, doesn't touch uh, the floor of the bucket. But what I will do now is I will pour this fluid into here and see if it works. I mean if it submerges all the parts. Let's, let's have a go. And yes, I, am, I will be wearing protective glasses because I do value my uh, sight. I was lucky uh, the fluid was able to uh, cover all the screws and so on so that's very good now i will prepare this one so i will pour that into here so both of the bats are now prepared so now we can turn on the power supply and the voltage we will turn that max currently we have zero amps so we so 
That maybe? 0 0.3 amps. Maybe that's too little. Let's see. So we are at about 20 minutes and currently at 3.14 amps, only 1.7 volts. Uh, so I'm maxing out the power supply. Um, it's hard to say if we are getting there. Uh, the copper wire is. Um, yeah, it has a coat of zinc on it and it's very shiny and bright. I think the screws are receiving some zinc. Uh, it's supposed to be a, like a dull surface first and then eventually turn shiny. So we will give it some more time. There is no bubbling so I don't think I would burn the surface or any edges so we are now 33 minutes in and I think we're getting there it's turning shiny but uh, we will have it in for a little while longer so we are about two hours and almost 40 minutes in and I think I am happy with the sink result. So uh, let's do the uh, yellow passivization. So according to the manual, we should have the stuff in this path for around 90 to 120 seconds. So, um, yeah, we will see how it goes. So first we turn off the power supply. We can also disconnect the wires, like so. So the idea now is to lift it up, shake it off, and then dip it down. So I will hold on. I started the timer. So let's see. When we reach twenty seconds, then I will dip it down. Ten seconds. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Seventy, eighty, ninety. I want more. One hundred, one hundred and ten, one hundred and twenty. I think I was a tiny bit more. Let's do one hundred and forty. So one hundred and thirty now. And now 140. Yep, 
separate them a little bit okay so first time doing a DOI sync thing and uh, yellow chromatation or yellow passivization so I will let these hang here and uh, dry there is some sort of green thing going on hmm You see that? I wonder why. Uh, but I will uh, remove all of this and then I will take these home and put them in the oven. And I will leave them there for the entire night. So everything has been taken away. And I've removed the screws from the copper wire and uh, I think I am quite happy with this. Here you can see, I won't touch it, but there is a line and that's uh, like a touch mark from the copper line. So, yeah that's something that I have to live with and they also say that in the instructions that you should uh, attach the copper wire to somewhere where it won't be as visible but uh, yeah I think this is looking really nice and I was able to get rid of a bit of the greenish color by dipping them again just dipping and swooshing around so now I will take these home and put them in the oven so I'll pick that up there so now we have the screws in the oven and I'm using an old retired frying pan that we normally use for soil when we're planting things in pots uh, that's why I have the uh, olive oil uh, underneath so I will leave this till tomorrow morning and then I will take it out and then it should be done so the final procedure for this was uh, ultrasonic cleaning the screws to get rid of um, grease and oil and whatever dirt that was on it um, I put the screws in a plastic bag and then added uh, hand dishwashing detergent uh, yes um, and the reason why it's in a bag is because then we don't need to clean the ultrasonic cleaning machine we just take out the bag and then in, a, in the bottom of the bag you will have all the dirt so the next step was sandblasting uh, I sandblasted the entire screws basically and then I washed them in uh, paint thinner just to get rid of all uh, grease from my skin etc and after that I'm not allowed to touch the screws because that will affect the end result and then after that it was time to put them in the sink bath and that took almost three hours quite a long time at three amps and then 140 seconds in the yellow passivization wash or bath uh, and then an additional 20 seconds to get rid of some of the green spots after that I let it hang dry and then uh, took off the copper wire and put it in uh, yeah some 
a soft clo cloth and then into a plastic bag so I don't get any of these uh, fluids in my car and so on and then in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius and it will be there for a minimum of five hours but I will let it be there until tomorrow morning when I wake up so a bit more than five hours but apparently it's not the end of the world if uh, if it stays longer in the oven so that's it for this episode uh, hopefully you will get to see the uh, final result and uh, the screws mounted on the power steam pump in the next episode um, at least we can hope but uh, until then thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe Stay safe, take care, bye bye. After about eight hours in the oven, they are finished. Well, they have to be because we need to leave for work. So I have turned off the oven and they will uh, stay in here and slowly cool down. This heat treatment did remove some of the yellowness so they are more uh, matte gold basically but i think it looks fine <laughs>